So here we have probably a figure that uh, has already been put on many people's worst Black Series figure of the year before it ever came out. But we get Black Chrysanthemum, who is uh, part of the comic series here. You can see he's in a, the comic book box, which these are pretty nice boxes. You can see all the, the artwork that we get here on the outside. Uh, no information on the back there. Maybe it's on the inside. Bunch of comic panels on the side, there on the top, and on the bottom. And of course, these open up. Oh, there we got some information about Black Chrysanthemum. Now, you notice this is all straight out of uh, the comic book. It has nothing to do with Book of Boba Fett. And that was, you know, that's the biggest thing with this figure is people judged it because we just saw Black Chrysanthemum in Book of Boba Fett. It's like, oh, it doesn't look near as big or as cool looking. Now, granted, Black Chrysanthemum looked like a big, uh, big Wookiee in the, uh, the comic books. But, you know, I thought it was very clear this figure had been planned and and everything before Book of Boba Fett hit. In fact, let's see, Book of Boba Fett's about eight months ago at this point, and we have this figure already. Tells you that this figure had been planned before. Probably Hasbro even knew it was going to be a Book of Boba Fett. Um, so it was some unfortunate timing on their part, uh, <laughs> which seems to happen. But that's part of the problem with Lucasfilm not sharing their information with Hasbro. But I know people are going to hate on this figure. Uh, but let's see if this is a figure truly worth hating. So let's go ahead and get him open. So I'm going to try and judge this figure based on much like the rest of these comic book figures. If you've been doing this for a while, the, the figures that have come in these boxes, this for the comic book based stuff, or I guess they don't necessarily have to be comic book, but um, they're all repaints. Everything that we get, it's much like the gaming grades we get through GameStop, they're all repaints. They may have a little bit of added something here and there. In this case, we it looks like got at least a fully retooled head, if not a completely brand new head, because obviously we got these braids here, we got the open snarl and the scar and everything. It doesn't look like Chewbacca, so I wouldn't say that it's just a retool of a Chewbacca head, but. I mean, there might have been some use of that head somewhere in there. But the body is clearly a Chewbacca body. Um, which, you know, we got the, uh, I can't remember his name, the Wookiee from uh, KOTOR earlier. And that was just a Chewbacca body as well. So, so obviously the body on Chewbacca and Chrysanthemum are the same. But uh, could this head have come from this? And so I'm looking for little things in, in the hair. It might be better to tell from the back. Because if you look at like the, the KOTOR Wookiee and Chewbacca, you can tell it they actually use the same head. They just sculpted on some new details in the face. So I'm looking at like little things like this where it curves and how it does that. It may be completely new head. I'm not seeing... It's really hard to tell on some of this. Like on, when I looked at the KOTOR Wookiee, it was very obvious. But here... I'm not seeing any markings that make me say, I mean, you can see, you know, hair going back, but, oh, right there, okay, right here. If you look like how this hair pattern goes right here, it looks to be the same as it is right here. So that probably tells me that this black chrysanthemum was completely modeled, the, the head was modeled on Chewbacca. They just, they took a Chewbacca head and then added things to it, basically, and, and, and that so it's not exactly it's not a repaint Chewbacca head I mean you can definitely see a big difference in the mouth and everything there but um just uh to make sure on that I don't know the more I look at these two I'm pretty sure this is a brand new head I mean I found that spot on the side that I thought might be the same but I, the more I look at it I can see a lot of differences between them so maybe it is a full fully new sculpt so there's a lot of places where I feel like it should it would be really obvious especially like along the lines where the, the head meets the uh, shoulder there and you can see they're completely different so maybe it is maybe it is a fully new head sculpt if so good for them um at the same time you know all these figures are repaints like I said and uh so how do we how do we judge that? And it's hard to judge because I mean, in in particular, like everybody thought, oh, if they do a black chrysanthemum and, and they just do a repainted Chewbacca, that'd be the worst thing ever. Well, is it the worst thing ever? Let's, so I'm looking. I'm not not saying people are wrong. 
I'm looking at the armor and everything that we've got here. It's this plastic armor. It's very similar to what we got with the KOTOR Wookiee. We do have a slot to put his, well, hmm. bowcaster, <laughs> which I seem to remember him using like a giant gun in the comic more than the, a bowcaster, but okay. Um, this, this armor, though, is very like the paint job on it. It's a very cheap... I don't know, it reminds me of like 80s He-Man armor where, you know, it was good for the time, but, you know, for detailing, it's supposed to be, you know, more metal and this looks so cheap plastic, but I, yeah. And, you know, there's no differentiation along. We've got these packs and everything. You'd think there'd be some differentiation there. Plus this, this piece comes together. It's probably what I think of He-Man is like, but it comes together a little low. Like even if I look at the picture here, like clearly that uh, that cross section is coming up on his chest, whereas this is more of his stomach where it's hidden. Okay, we can even see it right there. Um, you know, it's it's not a great figure. I like the head. I think the head's pretty good. The rest of it's pretty garbage. <laughs> um, unfortunately. Black Chrysanthemum's been a, a cool character in the comics. He's always been a really big Wookiee. And honestly, I look at this figure and it looks like a, a small Wookiee wearing his dad's clothes. Like the, the armor here that he's wearing looks too big for the, the figure. Um, he seems, and because of where the cross section comes together, he just looks short, like his legs look short in comparison with that. Like you look at this, it feels like his shoulder should be broader. His head doesn't seem quite right on that body. So, I mean, all around, I'd say, unfortunately, this is not a great figure. I know most people didn't even pre-order it. They're going to pass on it anyway. It'll probably be in the clearance uh, sections of many websites in the near future. But, um, you know, for those people who passed on it, there you go. Now you can uh, say, hey, you did the right thing and passed on it. Uh, it is not a very good figure. I'm looking forward to the one that's coming out for Book of Boba Fett, but I don't feel like this really represents the character. I, and I know, like, on the Gaming Greats uh, Republic Commando, where the armor isn't exactly correct, but it's pretty darn close. I wouldn't even call this pretty darn close. This is, like I said, it, it looks like, it, it's like Lumpy wearing Chewbacca's clothes or something. You know, it's it's like... It's too small uh, all around. Uh, even the armor looks like it was designed for a bigger figure. So, unfortunately, I just don't think this is a very good figure. Um, and probably most people will pass on it anyway. So, that's my look at the Black Chrysanthemum. Um, what do we call this? Comic series? Something like that. <laughs> figure. Uh, probably most people. Go ahead and wait until the Book of Boba Fett one comes out. I'm sure it's going to be better.